What is up guys, my name is Alistair and in this video I will show you how you can pre-process your text data effectively. Text analytics is one of the major areas in which machine learning applications are widely used. As a machine learning enthusiast, you must have heard about natural language processing and its various applications such as sentiment analysis, topic modeling, speech recognition and so on. These NLP applications have one thing in common and that is that they have text as the underlying source of data. So it is up to us as a data scientist to clean the text data as much as possible before feeding them to a machine learning model. This would allow the machine learning algorithm to extract vital information and yield optimal results. With that being said, let's move on to today's video where I show you some pretty useful functions that you can reuse in your text preprocessing pipeline. Okay, let's move on to the notebook and the link to the GitHub repository will be given down in the description. Please note that the list of functions shown here is not exhaustive. However, these are commonly reused across different applications. More functions can be added or removed from the text cleaning pipeline depending on your use case. So what are the functions that belong to our text cleaning pipeline? First of all, we convert the text to lowercase so that any functions we apply will be uniform throughout the entire dataset. By that, we assume that text casing did not carry any additional meaning in our dataset and is irrelevant. And just like many real life scenarios, we assume that we have scraped the data from some online source and it may contain HTML tags, so we have to clean them. And the same applies for URLs, so any links that is present in our dataset would have to be removed. And then we split our numbers, by that I mean if there's any word and number that is together, we split them and add a space in between. We also expand contractions, remove punctuations, stop words and numbers from our text. And finally, after we have almost completed with the text cleaning pipeline, we remove any extra spaces that is present on our text dataset. Now, as we have seen the functions, let's also look at the libraries that will be used throughout the video. So first of all, we use pandas, and as expected, we use it to store our text data in our data frame. We also use the inbuilt string library from Python and the beautiful soup library to clean the HTML text. So let's get started. First things first, let's install pandas in beautiful soup and import them. And then we create the data set. And this is the text that we will be focusing on in today's video. And this text is converted to a pandas data frame. We convert this text sample to a pandas data frame. And in a real world scenario, your data frame would be composed of thousands or millions of rows of text just like this. The function shown in this video will be applied on top of a data frame so that no matter the size of the data, the functions work just the same. The text sample is taken from the Amazon reviews dataset, and it's basically a review a user has given on a product which they have bought from Amazon. So let's move on to the first function where we convert the text to lowercase, and it is pretty simple since we are using the pandas data frame. We have access to the .str method, and within that we can use any string manipulation function offered by Python. And in this case, we use the lower function which converts the text to lowercase. Next, we clean the HTML text present in our dataset. So for this, we use the beautiful soup Python library, which is usually used to pull out data from HTML and XML files. Well, luckily for us, the library offers a HTML parser function. And when we pass a text to this function, it will remove any HTML tags which is present in the text dataset. So pandas gives us a dot apply method within which you can use a function that can be applied to each row in the dataset. So after applying the function, we can see that all the HTML and BR tags have been removed from our text sample. We move on to the next function where we remove any links present in our text sample. And for this, we use the power of regular expressions. So regular expressions, simply put, are just patterns used to match character combinations present in a string. It is an active subject of research and I have put a link over here so that you may read the origins of regular expressions and how it came to be. As you can see, we have used the string replace function and a rejects pattern and wherever the pattern matches, we replace it with an empty string. We have also set the rejects pattern to true so that we let pandas know that we are using regular expressions. Now if we print out the string, we can see that the link to amazon.com has been removed from our text sample. Next, we split any words attached to a number with a space in between. And once again, we use rejects pattern to match any digit present in our text input and split on the same. As you can see, once we print out the text sample after processing, the word Amazon 2022, which was attached together, has been separated with a space in between. Now, since we have split our numbers, we move on to the next function where we expand any contractions present in our text input. So we have this dictionary which maps the contractions to its expanded form and we simply iterate through this dictionary 
and wherever the string matches to a specific key we replace it with the expanded form. So now when we print out the text sample we can see the word its has been split into it is and this shows that the function works as expected. And now we move on to the next function which is to remove any punctuations present in our text input. Python's built-in string library already has a punctuation list to further which I define an extra punctuations list which contains those that are not present in the inbuilt library. Now we iterate through the punctuation list and remove any occurrences from our text input. Now printing out our text sample, we can see that it looks much cleaner with no punctuations present in it. Now next up we move to the very important remove stop words function. As you can see, the stop words list defined here contains many different words that are used very frequently in the English language. From machine learning models perspective, these words contribute very little to the overall model's performance and hence needs to be removed. These stop words which are defined in this list is taken from the NLTK library stop word list and can be imported as shown in the code snippet here. You may of course remove or add words from the stop words list depending on your use case. Once again, as you may notice, we use the power of rejects to filter out stop words from our text dataset. Now if we print out our text input, we will notice that it gets smaller and much more concise and all the noise is slowly getting filtered out. Well, this is really good in terms of an ML model point of view because the words that are left behind will really contribute to the model's overall performance. Now before we call it today with our text cleaning pipeline, there are two more functions which cleans the existing text further. And the first one being the remove numbers function, which is optional and you may want to keep numbers in your text data set depending on your use case, but it is pretty simple to remove numbers using regular expressions as shown here. We simply match the numbers using regular expressions and replace it with an empty string. And when we print out, we can see that the year 2022 has been removed from our text input. Now compared to what we started with, our text looks really good. But if you notice carefully, there are a lot of spaces in between few of these words as well as a slash n which indicates a new line in our text input which needs to be cleaned. Now once again, we depend on the good old regular expressions to match these extra spaces and replace it with just one space. You may also notice that we use the dot strip function over here and this is to remove any spaces before and after our text input. The regular expression that we use in this example only catches spaces in between words and not before and after an input string. Now since we have completed our text processing pipeline, let's compare what we had in the beginning with our final pre-processed text. You will notice that our text is much smaller, much more concise, much more cleaner and only contains the relevant text with regards to our Amazon review. This is exactly what needs to be fed to a machine learning model. Now for the sake of convenience, I have compiled all of these functions into a single Python function which you can reuse in your projects. All you need to do is pass in your text data frame as an input and you get a clean text as an output. Now I hope you have understood how crucial and how important the text cleaning stage is as it directly impacts your model's performance. So it is up to the data scientist to ensure that only the relevant words get fed to the machine learning model. I hope the functions that I've shared with you in this video helps with the same. And if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It truly means the world to me. I hope to make more similar content for the machine learning enthusiasts out there. With that being said, I hope you all have a great day. Take care and peace.